Hello everybody, hi. I'm Eve Oxbury, I'm Editor of Professional Beauty in the UK. And um, thank you for joining us for today's live, which is all about how to win awards that will grow your spa or salon business. And today I'm joined by the fantastic Kay Pennington, um, who's Centre Parks' Aquasana Group Spa Manager. Hi Kay. Good morning, hi, or afternoon rather now. Um, hi, thank you for uh, inviting me. Well, thanks for joining us. So just to give a bit of background, Kay just won Spa Leader of the Year at the 2021 World Spa and Wellness Awards, which happened in October. Um, and last year, she also won multiple professional beauty awards, including the Leader of the Year category here in the UK, as well as um, Large Bar of the Year category for Aquasana Longleat Forest. Um, so yeah, we're going to be chatting a bit today about um, what it takes to win awards, but also what's been going on with um, Aquasana, which is a really influential spa group. Um, if you're watching this webinar live and you have any questions for Kay, um, do type them into the chat box as you go along, if you're in Zoom or in the comments on Facebook, and hopefully we can, uh, they can get through to us at the end. But um, yeah, for now, let's get started. So Kay, as I mentioned just now, you won um, Leader of the Year uh, at both Professional Beauty 2020 and World Spa and Wellness 2021 awards. Mm -hmm. So could you tell us a little bit about your leadership style? What would you say that you do differently from, from other spa leaders out there? Okay, I will do my best. Um, I would say that I pride myself on leading by example. You know, you've got to put yourself in the shoes of others and almost be the the walking talking version of what you want you know your team to, to emulate really so leading by example is, is definitely one of them um i always like to encourage um personal growth of the team members uh, i think that's really important and you know not just manage management um but you know from the second that we get a new therapist start, you know, or, or a spa host, um, as much as I can, I try to kind of get to know as many of the team as possible and encourage them, find out what their strengths are, um, you know, and, and now and again, I will select and cherry pick individuals to help me on a project, etc. again, for their personal growth. Um, and then I think the final one is and I'm not sure, you know, how these vary to other spa leaders, but I would say that I am firm, but fair, you know, um, as you can imagine, we've got quite a big strategy uh, that drives Aquasana and it's, um, it's important to get those team members on board, you know, to kind of help you drive it. So, um, yeah, firm, but fair. Excellent. Thank you. Um, we mentioned also earlier that Aquasana also won three categories. It was actually at the Professional Beauty Awards last year and some regional categories and also the, the Large Bar of the Year category. Um, what do you think is special about Aquasana? I mean, I know obviously you're a bit biased because you run it, <laughs> but what do you think makes the group stand out? What does uh, the, the spa group do differently? Yeah, um, well, there's obviously six um, in the group and I would say what makes us special um and different perhaps is is the personality you know the aquasana personality and that does vary from location to location um but you know we we've got a lot of um long standing um passionate members of the team you know we've got 600 therapists on our payroll um and we you know we have a lot of uh, commitment uh, and a lot of passion um, but I think as a as a, a brand, we you know we keep investing into the facility, uh, we keep investing into the team, and um, you know we're always growing all the time. Um, so we're never you know from one year to the next we don't stand still. Uh, mm -hmm. We keep moving, we keep innovating, and um, that's that's just part of how we roll, I guess. Yeah, and that's so important. And 600 therapists is enormous. That's a, a huge responsibility to lead. And yeah, yeah. So what what kind of things have you done since the win, I guess, for professional beauty, which was um, 2020? What sort of things have you done at Aquasana? What innovations have you have you led there? Um, I think in terms of, as we all know, last kind of 18 months has been difficult to 
majorly innovate. Um, we have had some projects that we've had to put on the back burner, unfortunately. Um, we do have a new addition um, to the forest bar on the way. So uh, obviously across the six locations, we've got three of them, which what we call the forest bar concept. And then the others are the world of spa, which mm -hmm. is our original concept. And we have got it on the agenda to Forest Spa, another um, one of our locations, which will be a huge piece of innovation because that again is looking at heat experiences and design and how again we can um, provide our guests with the, the utmost amazing sensory experiences while they're, they're in the spa. So that's something that we are currently working on. Um, in terms of what that looks like. The, I think obviously there's been a huge focus on recruitment as with every other, you know, spa in our industry, how we can be more dynamic in our approach to capture new recruits, um, you know, kind of opening up to as much as we can uh, visually with what we do in Aquasana uh, to encourage um, new starters, lots of works in, you know, lots of um, colleges, um visits and things like that but i think in terms of major innovation we haven't done anything we've just been focused on getting our menu back on track and promoting uh, wellness and you know really trying to uh, retain uh, who we've got on the team and and really boost morale and then of course with the awards that's really helped as well yeah excellent because i was going to ask um really what makes you into the awards because that that's one aspect isn't it to kind of reward the team and, and boost team morale what what are the other reasons for you um for entering the professional beauty and world's bar and wellness awards yeah so we obviously have a huge amount of feedback that we get from the guests um as as well as you know staff that work for Aquasana and I think the kind of the drive or the force behind um, putting ourselves up for rewards is really um, to manage our profile and to almost certify to ourselves that we are um, worthy of an award. And it's, you know, but when you um, when you enter and you look at the categories, it does make you self-reflect on um, yourself and then the brand and think, OK, you know, actually, is that who we are? Um, and, you know, by kind of certifying that on paper, as it were, to enter um, really does clarify it for you and for the team. And also kind of helps you to um, set your goals as well, you know, in terms of what you want to achieve and, and who you want to be as a brand. So lo lots and lots of reasons, but definitely we've been wanting to raise our profile for a while and make some noise. Um, and that's definitely been successful. Excellent. OK. And does it help with um, I mean, do you get the team involved, I suppose, in the entering and does it help kind of help for them to, to appreciate these aspects as well? Yeah, I think, you know, once once the team um, realise the, the enormity and the importance of the awards, it really does. Um, yeah, it helps them to raise their profile as well, you know, that they've been, that they work in a, in a spa that is now, you know, nominated for a, a you know, a kind of highly recognised um, award, you know, with professional beauty or what be it uh, World Spa and Wellness. Um, and I think that, again, is, is good because your, your staff really benefit from that accolade um, of knowing that they work for um, an award winning spa. Mm. Excellent. And what's it like to win? How did you feel to win the awards on the night for, for both uh, sets of awards? Oh, my goodness. Um, obviously, going back to UK um, for yes, yeah, Professional Beauty UK Spa Leader last year, mm -hmm. um, I found that was very emotional for me personally, because I've been on a, a long journey in my career. And I've always been committed and focused. And it was just, again, that self-recognition um, and, you know, that feeling of self-worth and all of the commitments 
uh, and drive has been worth it, you know, at the end to have that status was fantastic. I think with the World Spa and Wellness, I really genuinely was so blown away, you know, to, to be in that arena of all of those, you know, um, most professional wellness leaders. Um, and, you know, for me to, to be amongst that, was absolutely mind blowing, but then to win the award and have that status again is is mind blowing, and um, I'm still not over it yet. Um, you know, still lots of uh, kind of thoughts racing through my head, um, but you know, it's just a case of you just. My message would be just don't start believing in yourself, and you know there are there are so many more opportunities in the future for future. Uh, leaders to come through and shine through and, and just don't stop don't stop achieving mm-hmm. is my mantra excellent yeah because I think particularly in the world's for wellness uh, category there's so many um, great leaders who are sort of running international spa groups and things so amazing to to be recognized and stand out against them so congratulations absolutely thank you and with the awards wins, how have you used them in the business? So do you, um, how do you use them, I suppose, to promote um, services and kind of get new clients or, or um, keep existing clients? And also, how do you use them with the team? How do you sort of encourage them to, to promote the awards? Yeah, well, there's nothing better than bringing home the trophy, is there, you know, when the spas that do win, um, we do showcase their, their trophies. Um you know, where the highest traffic is. Um, I know that, for example, um, the foot spa area is an area where all guests will walk past and we we make it very well known about our awards. We, you know, we start with morning briefs to the team. Um, we have celebrations, um, you know, where they all have, um, you know, a wellness session in the morning and they, you know, it's all about positive affirmations. And so the awards fit really into that, really well into that. Um, but I think for the guests, we obviously make it very well known on our social media. Um, now and again, we'll also take part in, in a new activity. Um, I know that in September, we took part in the World uh, Spa and Wellness Weekend. And we made a huge fuss about that, the fact that we were nominated for awards, but also we were taking part in, in a great piece of activity. We you know, provided something like um, 800 complimentary scalp massages of a weekend. And you know, we, we, we really did ramp up the activity to make it known that we were, we were applying for awards, we were winning awards, but we we're also part of a um, you know, kind of a, a spa movement globally as well. Mm, fantastic. And have you seen um, a benefit to business from awards wins? I mean, awards wins in general, I guess, um, if people are thinking of entering awards, do you see a direct impact on the business? Do you see any kind of measurable impact, I suppose, from the wins? Yeah, it's hard to kind of put pound notes on it because yeah. you don't know, um, always know if that guest has come on the back of your award. But what we do find is that when we do talk about it on social media, we do get lots of likes and lots of comments and lots of, I can't wait to come to that spa or I've been before and yes, it's definitely award winning and you get, you know, you, you, you do pick up some traction from it. Um, so for that, again, it's absolutely worth, you know, doing it to be recognized, um, not just in our own professional sector, but, you know, it puts, uh, professional beauty, world spa and wellness out there and, and makes it known to the consumer as well that we we are striving to succeed in, in these really important organisations that, that lead our, our industry. Fantastic. Yeah, and as you say, it's, it's often about um, just that extra level of credibility, isn't it? I mean, you might have guests that know and love the spa, but just sort of seeing, it, it's reassuring to them to see that it's a uh, it's award winning it is the you know it is the best and they are absolutely the it's the rubber stamp isn't it you know um so yeah 100 percent. I'd, I'd say that that we definitely see the spikes on social media for sure fantastic and um, and i suppose lastly what would you um do you have any tips for people that are thinking of entering why would you recommend that other spas get involved and are that do you have any advice about the process of entering or, or the judging process Oh, the process is really nerve wracking. I definitely will (laughs) put that out there Um, and exciting as well, you know. um, But 
I'd say, why would I recommend it? Team morale to start with, you know, to, to kind of let the team know that mm. we, you know, we, we just applied or we've just been shortlisted or, you know, the awards are this weekend, everybody gets behind it, creates that excitement. Again, going back to what I said before, to certify who you are, carve your, you know, carve that out for yourself as the, the best bar in the UK or in the Southeast region or whatever it is, you know, hold your head up high and think, is that, is that us? Is that who we want to be? Then let's let's go for it. Let's strive and uh, let's write down on paper today what it is that we're doing um, to get there. Um, so a lot of it is uh, self certification, um, and you you're also as well. I think by putting you, yourself forward, you are stimulating positive competition. Um, you know, in in your area. Um, you know or field of spas it's it's all healthy competition at the end of the day um mm. and I think that you know the we know that the spa industry is growing so again to be shortlisted um and nominated for an award is, is huge so um I think all of that you know understanding what your offer is as well you know until you actually start to write write down what you actually do you know it, again it's it's um it's self-certification yeah, yeah. It's kind of rubber stamping it for yourself to say yes you know these are the reasons we stand by those um and then by doing that that communication to your team as well um it helps to drive it definitely yeah and I think that's it as you say it's it's getting that recognition from others in the industry because obviously the awards are judged by the industry so kind of top yeah. level spa directors and owners are, are around the world um so sort of having them look at your business and what you're doing and say actually you're really on the right track and you're, and you're doing great I guess is a really good uh, recommendation in itself it does and you know a lot of um influencers out there as well you know will pick up on the fact that you are winning awards applying for awards and they'll want to come to your spa they'll want to you know do a YouTube upload or whatever, you know, and, and again, promote your spa as well. So mm -hmm. it's all healthy at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and I would definitely recommend, um, you know, especially now that we're hopefully at the other side of COVID, it's it's a really good platform now, um, you know, definitely worthwhile. Yeah. And as you mentioned earlier, also with the the, the strain I think everyone's feeling uh, globally with the recruitment um, in the spa market, it's, it's tough out there. So, yeah, just having that kind of additional uh, additional draw for great therapists as well can't be a bad thing. That's it, 100%. Excellent. Well, um, I think we've covered everything. So thank you so much, Kay. That was really interesting. And thank you so much for being a, a fantastic advocate for Professional Beauty and World Spa Wellness Awards. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Great. And thanks everyone for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Bye.